Hey there, if you remember my old video how to make any device uh, Bluetooth capable uh, to transmit sound, I used this transmitter in the video, but this time I bought uh, another transmitter and receiver combo that looks like this. It's really minute. It's really great. If you uh, if, if if you ask me, I really enjoy using it. It also only has a jack just like this one. It only has one button, but this time it has a, a receiver capability also here. So that's really great. And uh, if I just connect the jack and use a power bank. Uh, to show you how this exactly works, uh, th there's one small thing that I don't like, but uh, let me show you that. I connect. Bluetooth launch mode. Oh man, yeah, that's really, really loud. Uh, yeah, whatever. Bluetooth launch mode. That that's apparently the mode where it will try to transmit the red LED blinks. Uh, but if you uh, press and hold the uh, the button over here for a bit longer. Bluetooth receiving mode. Exactly. So now it enters a Bluetooth receiving mode and now it does connect to my uh, smartphone and let me try to play something. Uh, the, the one thing I don't like, let me just try it. Yeah, so, so it actually does work. The, the one thing I don't like about it that it sends uh, sound over this jack when it, uh, when it starts in the transmitter mode. I don't think that's a good idea in this instance because it may break the device uh, that it's connected to. It, th this device is expecting to send sound over there, the jack, not to receive it. But that shouldn't be an issue. I do recommend just firstly connecting this to power and then connecting the, uh, the audio jack. And let me do a bit of unboxing because I have a, another one uh, over here. So yeah, what, what, what could be inside? Uh, let's see, and it's it's a it's a piece of paper with Chinese on it. Uh, it's a jack to jack cable, very poor jack to jack. I had one of those. It it broke over here and over here on both ends. And we have our little uh, oh yeah transmitter and receiver combo. So that's a full unboxing. And what I will try now is to connect uh, this part as a transmitter to the phone and this part as a receiver uh, to my uh, little uh, stereo and try to transmit the sound over those two and see how that will work. So firstly, let me connect, as I said, I'm not exactly comfortable uh, connecting first the jack because it sends sounds sound over the over the jack cable over here. Yeah, it entered the transmitter mode. Let me turn off the Bluetooth on my phone. Yeah, here it is. So they, they should pair up. Yeah, see, see this? Let me just connect this cable to my phone. Yeah, it works. So, and let me just, Increase the volume a little bit. Uh, it only uses the uh, the audio output from my phone, and now it transmits to the uh, to the stereo over here. So it actually they, they work together pretty well, so they can be used uh, both at the same time. So if you have a device that cannot send sound and another device that cannot receive sound, and you want to uh, combine them wirelessly, this combo works really well. Uh, another thing about this, if you press uh, this this uh, on the, on the receiver and uh, the button once, it will just mute the audio. This, this is not pause, just so you know. It just mutes the audio. Doesn't matter to, to what device you have this connected, uh, and it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I guess it mutes the audio too uh, on the uh, on the transmitter side. So yeah, that, that's, that's two things at once. And, and I guess that's basically it. It does work really well. Uh, so let me just disconnect this and let's take a peek inside. So I'm here again and I again don't have any, uh, any of my proper tools. So we will try this ruler one more time. Uh, if I just, yeah, here, here it goes. 
it only is snapped uh, at the edges and if I work my way around this it should open uh, quickly just try a little bit more uh, it's, it's just pro it's probably only clipped along the edges so well, let me try to work around the step it's clipped pretty well uh, oh yeah it's possible that, that this is also being held by the uh, by the Bluetooth socket itself because I can see it moving over here so maybe I will have to push it down let me just try to hold disk okay so let me try to grab this over here and uh, those are I know those are really bad tools for the job but that's all I have here and here we have it so apparently it all also should be uh, working with only this if I remove this that, that's a really neat design because it, it it's built uh, really cleanly and the uh, the button went inside but don't worry I will try to remove this delicately and here we have it well on the on on this side it seems that, uh, that there's only a jack and the and the little button on this side so probably what you could do uh, is just connect the power over here and disconnect the button and the jack completely and put this inside of your device it should be uh, sending the Bluetooth audio which would be really great for this purpose uh, you could also cut the uh, the circuit board uh, a little bit over here to make this a lot smaller so so that, that's a really good design to do any kind of hacks and if I just connect this over here, it should start to... Yeah, exactly. As you can see, it started to work. Uh, if I just connect this uh, using my aux cable, we should have some sound. Bluetooth launch mode. Exactly. And Bluetooth receiving mode. Yeah, it, it works really well. Uh, even without this, uh, this whole... Uh, this whole cover, this little chip, because we only have this tiny, tiny uh, Bluetooth antenna. Uh, I guess that's a crystal, and this little chip does say AP24246, whatever this is. I think that that's a generic Bluetooth chip that, that is capable of transmission and receiving. Uh, that that's really nice, and it does say. BT600. It it doesn't uh, uh, look like this on the uh, where, where on on your phone when you are finding this device. It only says Bluetooth music. Uh, the antenna is connecting using two capacitors over here. Also here is probably somehow uh, maybe a signal connected. But that's you know the the the, the way this is built is really really great. Especially considering that I think this was. Uh, about one and a half dollar or something like that that's including shipping obviously so that that's a really cost effective transmitter receiver combo and i did use this it does receive in stereo so that that's really cool uh, and and it, it's really practical so if you have a power bank like this it doesn't consume a lot of power so you can easily uh, you know uh, use this as, as a receiver for your uh, for your phone if you don't have a uh, Bluetooth headphones you, you like and uh, because some of the headphones I, I feel the most comfortable with are uh, the cable ones and I did use this with the this power bank and it really lasts I, I, I had no idea where uh, if it if it even use half of this power bank, then this power bank it's only two amp hours or something like that. So this is really great. I do recommend this transmitter receiver combo, and if you can, just 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 buy two of them. They're really great, and and for the price like that, you could couldn't possibly buy even a cable that it comes with. So. Uh, that's a really good idea to buy and do some hacking of your hardware uh, if you like or just use it as it is. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed 
uh, please subscribe. See you next day. No, dude, I'm telling you, I'm not crazy. I will connect my telephone to a transmitter, right? Over here, and I will get our signal from this receiver, and then I will uh, push that signal to a transmitter, and then I will get the signal from my receiver, and then I will connect my Apple headphones, and then I will be able to finally listen to my Nickelback albums. Thank you.